Hi folks, this is Karen Trepti, your productivity coach from Gaijin Works Coaching. I'm back with another interview from our interview series. Today I am so lucky and I'm going to let her tell you a lot about herself, but I have Tara Milo. We've been friends for a couple of years. Um, she has a brand called Your Computer Girl. We were just chatting offline a little bit. She's also known as a health coach because she's really multi multi talented as <laughs> a lot of you guys are too but currently your computer girl is really what's uh really just doing fabulous for her so welcome tara thank you thank you thank you so much for those kind words sure so the first thing i mean we're just if you tell me i'm going too far i'll, I'll back off but um <laughs> I think a lot of entrepreneurs really go through this struggle of like, what is the right business for me? So we will jump more into your computer girl, but can you just talk to us, to our audience a little bit about like what it's like to go through that kind of stuff? Yes, it's, um, it's been kind of stressful. So it's comforting to find my place and feel like it's okay to, find where I am and to be here now. Um, it's presenting some different struggles for me um, that I didn't really expect, but that's okay. So I initially, I thought I was going to be a health coach. So I was working at a university and I was doing their website and their marketing and I loved it. I had fun. I loved my job. Like quitting my job was really stressful. I don't have the normal like I hated corporate. I had to get out of corporate. I loved my job, wow. but I wanted to become a health coach. So I enrolled in the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. And as I was doing that program, I noticed that a lot of coaches were feeling overwhelmed with the computer stuff to the point where they were saying, I can't do this. I can't be a coach. I don't, I'm not smart enough to do this. I give up. And I was like, no, you can't do that. I can help you with that. Let's, let's make this happen for you. And the business was born. Like it really was not my intention <laughs> to do this. It just happened. And I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful that it did. And, you know, I have people on my list who have been fans of me from the beginning. And one of my first clients is one of my best clients to this day. Like it's amazing. Um, so I did go back and forth though, because then I didn't have good boundaries in the beginning with computer girl because I didn't know how to run a business and you know, people walked all over me and that's my fault. I'm not blaming them. I didn't know how to deal with boundaries. So I quit <laughs> I got frustrated and I was like, I'm not being a computer girl anymore. And so I tried to be, um, a health coach and that didn't work for me either. Um, it's just a matter of, there's a lot of reasons that it didn't work. We can go into them if you want, but they're not that interesting because um, they're more like personal stuff. Um, so it was funny though, as I was trying to market for health coaching, I was like, oh, I got to tell the other health coaches about this. I got to so I was still in computer girl mind. I was like, I got to share this with everybody. Even as I was being a health coach, like I was doing webinars for my fellow coaches Aww. at the same time. I was like, I'm not a computer girl, but I have to tell you how to do this. <laughs> so it was like, it was just in me. It was just stuck in me, like waiting to come out. So it's better now. It's good. I have boundaries and good programs and really good clients and it's exciting. I love you, Tara. I mean, it's <laughs> been really so much fun to see your, your business grow. And Thank you. I appreciate your welcome and I appreciate you being vulnerable and sharing kind of the path with us, with, with our audience, because I don't know. I don't think really I was the only one naive going into this, but I think a lot of entrepreneurs when they're starting out do think it's a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I've run a lot of brick and mortar businesses. I have an MBA, you know, I mean, I have a ton of experience and it's not been a piece of cake. Yeah. And an online business is really a different kind of a business. Yeah. And I think people come in and they come in strong. You know, they come in with their own strengths and then they just think, oh, well, why isn't this working like this? And yeah. you are not the only one. I mean, just to name drop a, a couple, I mean, Jenny She and Kendrick Show, both of whom mm -hmm. we've had on this, well, Jenny's coming up on the interview series and. I've interviewed Kendrick Shop. I mean, they didn't start out knowing exactly what they wanted to do. Yeah. So I think it's really, really important for people to know that, that this is uh, a process. And for me, I mean, I love business coaching. I've coached a lot of people on business, but I've recently kind of niched down to your productivity coach because that's like my favorite part. And, yeah. and I still do the other things because my clients are my clients and I'm always going to help them. But I think that these things just don't, y you just can't get them, I don't think, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Oh, exactly. Do think? I mean, doesn't it take time? Yeah, absolutely. Be and I think that's okay. I think a lot of people hold themselves back because they're like, I can't make my website yet because I don't know who I'm going to serve. And I'm like, no, just do it and it will become clear. You've got to just do it. And I know that sounds impossible, totally impossible to just do something. <laughs> you have to just jump in and do it and then you figure it out. And I'm so glad you focused on productivity coaching. I don't know if I should tell you this, but I, I don't, it's like 2.30. I don't even know what I've done today. Like, what productivity have I achieved? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of us need that. Like, yeah. I'm really good at getting things done fast, but what did I do today? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, we can talk offline. I mean, <laughs> systems and all kinds of things are my, are my jam, right? I mean, that's what I love. It's what I've been carrying a Franklin Covey for, I yeah. don't anymore because now I've finally... I've learned enough tech. Now, this is so much fun for me because tech has been like my weakness, weakness, weakness. And yeah. I have learned a lot of tech in the last like almost three years because, because I have an online business and I have to, I guess. And yeah, exactly. I, I don't mind, but I always tell people focus on your strengths and for gosh yeah. sakes, hire somebody like Tara. You know, <laughs> I mean, don't like beat your head against the wall trying to figure these things out. Hire her. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And just and just start, like she's saying. Just yep. just start somewhere and know. Um, I think this is another tip too. Like maybe you don't want to put thirty thousand dollars into your first website. Yes. You know, know that there will be changes i mean we just completely mm -hmm. rebranded we completely redid everything i'm like ah, well yeah. okay this is true so just know that it's a process with an online business know it's going to happen exactly and um another thing that i see come up with websites is they don't launch the people don't launch their website until it's perfect and i'm like your website is never going to be done it is never done <laughs> No matter what. <laughs> so many people told me that, and I just wouldn't believe yes. it, Tara. I just wouldn't believe it. I'm like, no, 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 but mine's different. I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I want it to be just right. I want it to be professional. I want it to represent me and my brand, and guess what? I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny, the things that we learn? And I love being able to admit that we've learned these things. So yeah. I love it that you can admit that because yes. not everybody can see those things. So that's awesome. Yeah. So let's dive in a little bit and because I really want people to know about your business. Like what okay. kinds of things do you do for people? Can you give us as many specifics as you want to? Sure. Oh, gosh. Well, what I love to do, I have two really fun programs. I love to work one-on-one -on -one with people. So 
if I was working with you, we would be signed into your website and we would be having a personal webinar, kind of like this, where you know you can see my screen and I'm making changes and we're talking. So you get everything done exactly the way you want it and you know how to do that in the future for yourself. Because a lot of times you get a website and it's beautiful and you're afraid you're gonna break it. So I just dive in because I know I'm not gonna break it. I have that confidence that you don't have until you do it, you know? So we make changes on your website and you get to learn how to do it. I also do email newsletters. I love setting people up and helping them um, get started with their newsletters and autoresponders and launch sequence. Um, we do social Over, media, I'm video. I interrupt you for the launch sequence. Like, yeah. what, let's, what specifically do you do? Are you writing people's copy or are you doing more of the technical part or what are you doing? A little bit of both. So I've done a lot of marketing classes and courses. So um, like B-School and HMBA is, is a holistic MBA um, and a bunch of others. And so I've kind of gathered all of these different people's launch sequence of what email should be sent when right after you send your opt-in freebie, for example. So we can strategize on the session together. We can write copy. I have a master's degree in English, so I'm not going to say I'm a copywriter. That's not like I'm good at it. I'm pretty good at it. I'm better for other people than I am for myself, which I, I'd me. say from reading your newsletter, you're really good for yourself. Too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we do. We write copy because it, it just takes that confidence of like just having somebody there who can say, we can do this. Let's do it. You know, when you sit back and you try to plan your launch su sequence yourself, it feels overwhelming and you never start. Hmm. So we get on, we get it done, the tech piece, the writing piece, what are your goals, you know, let's give a little upsell so people can buy something and have that interaction with you. Um, yeah, so we do anything and everything. I love talking about videos, we do video, we do all of it. Yeah. yeah. So really what I'm hearing is like, um, you will go in there and you'll hold somebody's hand. Mm -hmm. And you'll be with them. So as my business coaching hat or productivity coach, whichever you want to say, I would say in productivity, if you are just starting out, definitely hire somebody like Tara. You know, definitely um, take that leap and, and get that start. Like a virtual assistant, yep. somebody like Tara. Um, can just really jumpstart your business. It, it yeah. just makes a huge difference. And I see people, sometimes they're posting questions in Facebook groups and other people will jump in and say, oh, you can find it on YouTube. And I'm like, you're going to waste six hours of your life that you could spend with your kids or you could spend with your clients. Yes. Or you could suck it up and hire me and we're going to get it done in an hour. You're yeah. going to have a recording so you can watch it later. Yeah. Like, we're not going to spend your whole day figuring out how to do something. I know how to do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's so, so smart. I mean, one of my favorite things is to help people really scale their businesses. Mm -hmm. So I work with new business owners and I also work with really experienced business owners and that time they're ready to grow. But I love to delegate. Some people are like, really control focused and just like, Oh, I want to do it all myself. Well, I'm not that girl. <laughs> I'm like here. Yes. I'm happy to delegate. And I really think that if you want to grow your business, if you want to grow it faster, mm -hmm. you've got to learn to let go of some reins. You've got to learn to yep. delegate and get a team. And even if you only have a team for, a few hours a week to start. It's totally mm -hmm. fine. Like yeah. a team. Yeah. And that's my philosophy too, is like hire a virtual assistant, but I think it's so empowering to know how to do this stuff yourself mm -hmm. so that if your virtual assistant isn't responding and you want to get something out right now, you know how to do it. You're in control of your business yeah. and you don't have to rely on somebody else's schedule. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, I, I hear sometimes about VAs disappearing and I'm like, sad, sorry, I can help you. <laughs> but yeah, it happens. And, and VAs are great. I really think people like that run the world. They're the ones who support, you know, other people who are. <laughs> so yeah, hiring a VA is a great idea. I had a VA for a while. I need to have another one. Okay. It's time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So you've got the one-on-ones that you do with people oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and you walk them through. Yep. And then what are your other level programs that you do, Tara? Yeah. I have one that's really fun. It's called an Ask Me Anything membership. Okay. And I think I'm going to adjust the name of it. But anyway, in this, we have two live webinars every month, and you can just get on and ask me anything, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Wow. In that one, I'm working in my system, but I'm showing you, like, say you want to find a recipe plugin for your blog. Well, I'm going to show you my process for finding the best plugins. Like, we're going to look at reviews, we're going to look at, you know, how is it going to display on your blog, all of this stuff how to set it up, how to put your first recipe in there. That's just one thing that we talked about in a recent Ask Me Anything. Um, yeah, so people can ask me how to do anything, and I'll show them exactly how to do it on the webinar. And as a bonus, there's a private Facebook group, so they can ask me anytime, and I'll make a quick video for them and say, here's how you do that. It takes five seconds. Go ahead and do it. And so they get their questions answered. It's really helpful for people who have had a session with me. They start to work, they get working, and then they've got some questions. So that helps them kind of stay on track and answer their questions. And it's also really helpful for people who know just enough to do what they want to do, but sometimes something gets a little stuck and they need, like, how do I do this? It's like tech support, right? When you work in a corporation, you've got a tech team. Oh, yeah. That's what I do, like... Tara, how do I do this? I'm stuck. I can help them answer that question. And that one's a low investment. I'm working on some courses. I'll be building some courses um, pretty soon. So I'll have those too. But those are my favorite. And the, the Ask Me Anything is fun too because it's a lot of problem solving. And I never know what people are going to ask. So... I have to have my very best brain on that day. <laughs> so you work across all kinds of different platforms, like we're on Infusionsoft these days, but I know some other people might be on Entreport, and I've had a potential mm -hmm. client ask me, well, can you help me with the Entreport? Like, could I come to you and say, okay, well, here's my Infusionsoft, and here's my answer on here, but can you tell me on a different platform how this would work? Yeah, those two specifically, I haven't seen the back end of those. Okay. But I learn things so fast that, like, I would probably hop in there and kind of take a look around and see how it works before we have a session. Okay. So that I'm not wasting your time on the session figuring something out. But I work on, I have a list of, like, 20 platforms, like WordPress, um, I just got into new Kajabi, so I can do that one. Oh, cool. I, that yeah. my, my, time, my feng shui time management online courses on Kajabi. So oh, cool. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, all the webinar platforms I can help with, um, scheduling tools, Zippy courses. I kind of love Zippy courses. Um, Optimize Press. I'm kind of an addict. I like sign up for all of the things <laughs> that is out there and I learn how to do them. Um, so it's funny because I kind of do that as a distraction for my work. Like <laughs> there are things that are hard for me to do. So I'm like, oh, I'll just learn how to use Optimize Press and I'll move all of my courses into Optimize Press and that'll be really productive. Probably not, but now I get to say I know how to use Optimize Press. So it, it works out in my favor. You know what? I think <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I'm yeah. really, and beyond okay, I think it's fabulous because I'm all about focus, but I'm also all about ease and work is joy. Mm -hmm. And I, like you, love to learn things. 
Yeah. So if I'm just kind of at a wall or at a funk or whatever you want to call it, I allow myself to do that too because it's like if there's if there's somebody's video I wanted to watch or something like that that I want to learn, I think that's perfect. And I I mean I also for myself I I meditate or I walk or you know I do all kinds of other things, but I think stepping away it's so counterintuitive, Tara, but I think it's really productive. Like when we're stuck or at this point where it's feeling hard and not fun anymore, I think one of the best strategies is actually to step away. Mm -hmm. And I'm such a driven person, even though I'm all about ease and flow, that one of the ways that I step away is I step away into a different kind of work, you know, like yeah. well, what can I learn? and it helps me to relax my brain. And sometimes don't you find that while you're doing that, the solution pops up to what you were. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. First of all, yeah, that makes you're me welcome. better. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah don't, I, beat, don't beat yourself up about it. It's a great productive thing to do. I really do yeah. believe that. Oh, good. That's good. Well, that's what I was doing earlier today. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. Um, yeah, I do. Here's what happens. So my main struggle, I'll be totally honest with you, is just in confidence and putting myself out there. So when I go in and I learn these new things, sometimes it reminds me I am really good at this. So it does kind of light that spark of like, you should probably be telling people that you can help them with this stuff. You know what I mean? And then it kind of triggers that marketing message and, yeah. you know, enables me to get out and do this. So, yeah, that's a good way to look at it is like you kind of step away. You do the thing that's fun that you're good at and it reminds you or it gives you a new insight into how to do the thing that's hard. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sure our audience can tell why I love you because <laughs> it's so – so real so here with us so Thanks. what and this is a struggle that thank you for bringing that up I mean it's a struggle for me too um, what do you do to get yourself out there to kind of get over that I think the mental part of this the mental mm -hmm. not wanting to be arrogant but knowing we can help yeah get yourself out there how do you deal with that Here's my very best tip for that, and I hope everybody who's watching does this, is go look at your testimonials and write down the names of everybody that you've helped and what you've done for them. That's what I do, is I look at the names of people. So um, this is funny. I actually bought a, a standing desk, and it's like a cardboard one, but it's really fun, and it's on its way. But I've already planned out on my standing desk, I'm going to write the names of my clients that I love and who I've helped. And I think that reminds me that people like her needed, like she needed me. And so there's somebody else out there who needs me. And so it's kind of, it's not very nice of me to hide <laughs> all the time. Yeah. So I think having that reminder of your testimonials can remind you, you know, like it, it tells you why you're doing this and why you need to get over yourself and keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Get over yourself. So how about, um, I'm going to invite you. You don't have to answer, but you did say that, I mean, it sounds really perfect. Like for one, can people just have a single session with you? Is that mm -hmm. possible? Yep, absolutely. And then yeah. if they go into your membership, you said that's a low investment. Do you want to share that? You don't have yeah. to, if you want to. Yeah. Right now, it's $20 a month for that. Wow. I know, right? That's a bargain. That is such yeah. a bargain. Yeah. And there's not a lot of people in there. So if you join, yeah. you're going to get some really personal attention. <laughs> That's really great. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this up in a few minutes. But before we do, do you want to tell us about any of your other um, offerings that you have or – any other tips that you want to give our audience? Yeah, I do have a couple of free courses on my website. So if you just go to my website, free courses is up in the, in the top navigation there. And 
Um, it's about like getting inspired to write newsletters and how to get that inspiration so you can send newsletters consistently. Because you know, Karen, I've been writing my newsletter for like three years and yes. whether I was doing it for health coaching or, or computer girl, yeah. I've been doing it every week. So that's I know so how cool. to keep them rolling. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so sign up for free courses. It just gives you a little taste of my style. Okay. And yeah, I have a resource guide. You can get that too and kind of see all my favorite tools. So, And how can people find you? Oh, yeah. Um, my website is taramilo.com. Should I spell it? Yes. T-E-R-R-A-M-I-L-O.com. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Before we go, anything else you want to share with our audience? I just want to thank you so much, Karen. We, we talked a couple of years ago, and you probably told me to put a package together, and that was really helpful. That made a big difference for me and my business. So I want to thank you for that and for inviting me on this interview. This was really fun. You're welcome, Tara. And uh, okay, folks, so it's Karen Trepti, your productivity coach. Um, we're going to sign off for now, but I know that you're just going to have loved this, this interview with Tara today. So reach out to her and sign up for her list. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>